views expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of this station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. Hi, welcome. This is Dr. John Martini. This is one of the most amazing and inspiring shows that you can listen into. If you want to be on the edge of your seats, if you want to open up your heart, if you want to expand your mind, and you want to meet incredible people, stay tuned because you're just about to experience a transformative radio show that will change your life. And you're listening to the Dr. Pat Show is coming up right next. The following audio is via a Skype call. Welcome to the Dr. Pat Show. Talk radio to thrive by. Powerful, inspiring, and coming to you live, bringing you stories of people like you and me, busting through and living life full out. Get ready to dare to wonder what your life would be like if you knew you could not fail. Hey, everybody. Welcome. Welcome to Dr. Pat Show. Welcome to Transformation Talk Radio. Welcome to our world. We just got done talking about ghosts. Oh, boy. Now, one of the faves. You know, I never thought in a million years that my best friend, Benny, from New Jersey, would have such a fascination with dragons. <laughs> yeah. Yesterday, Colette Marie Stephens joining us. Yesterday, I was attempting to play table tennis. Now, this is a dragon story, but I can't wait to have Colette talk about this. And I'm playing this guy that I know I'm telling y'all I can beat this man. I know I can beat this man. And uh, I could beat this man even if I change hands, played with the other hand. But he's got a black shirt on with this amazing yellow golden dragon on it. I could not beat this man. As a matter of fact, I had a hard time keeping a little table tennis ball on the table. <laughs> and, I, and I didn't even know it was a dragon. I was so transfixed. Today's show, write this phone number down, 1-800-930-2819. You guys are going to call in, 1-800-930-2819. Or go to transformationtalkradio.com if you cannot call in and type in the message that you want to type in there for us. Because Colette Marie Stepan is in the house. Why is this so important? Other than what we know her to do, other than the truth is funny shift happens, other than truth is funny radio show, other than her certifications, being this amazing, amazing energy worker, light worker, healer, out of all of that, born in Canada, all of that, put that all aside for a moment. She's done some of the most amazing, spectacular cards, dragon cards that I've ever seen. And I don't even understand them. Tales, <laughs> tales from the vector. It doesn't matter to me. They are rock stars. Colette, my gosh, whoa. Thank you, Pat. I, I, you know, I started painting these dragons um, nine years ago. No. And uh, I, I have been painting them now. Uh, and uh, all of a sudden, like, they just came through really strong. Um, when I got back from Peru mm -hmm. uh, um, at, at the end of January, they came through very strong. And it's like, we want to come out because when I started painting these dragons, um, it, it, they, they, they appear to me. And um, they show me what they want to look like on the canvas. Mm -hmm. And then I'm painting them. And as I'm painting them, I am tuning into the energy. And all of the, 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 the whole entire time that I'm working on these paintings, I am in this place of correcting energy. And not specifically oh. for any one person, but mm. for the underlying weakness. And I got that there was 64 dragons in this deck. And I, I, at first, I'm like, when I was told by the first dragon, which is Angers, uh -huh. and she is the one that um, she appeared to me first, and she told me I would be painting uh, a deck and there would be 64 cards in it, 64 dragons, you know, like, um, and I thought she meant 64 dragons, but uh, now I get it. It's 64 cards. Mm -hmm. And so 
I started, you know, I, I have 25 out now. Um, I've just painted um, another uh, two big dragons. Like uh, I have this beautiful heart chakra dragon that I've been working on. And for four days now, I've been just, that's all I can do <laughs> in between sessions <laughs> is paint my house, my everything's just like, no, um, you know, that's because this, this energy is coming through so strong. And this energy of this particular dragon is of the heart. And um, I'm talking about the heart of humanity. And there's a lot happening on this planet right now. <laughs> yeah. And that's why she's coming through. And usually it takes me anywhere from three months to three years to paint mm -hmm. a dragon. Like, wow. Because they're very big. I use, um, um, there's real crystals on them, Swarovski crystals. I oh. have, you know, uh, and I put so the energy as I'm, as I'm painting and doing them, I'm putting the energy to shift this energy that's, that's weakening um, the general universe, I guess you could say. Yeah. It's, it's, and these, they came to me and they tell me they're unconditional love. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so um, my dragons aren't really scary. <laughs> no, no. Let's talk about that. Uh, yeah. and, and not only that, what's, what I'm finding fascinating in the world we live in today in our pop culture is that there is this level to embrace dragons, whether they're scary or not. I mean, look at this. You know, there are some analysts, let's just call them analysts in the media that say Game of Thrones would have been over a long time ago had there not been a dragon queen and an evil queen. <laughs> and I, right? I, yeah. I mean, and I thought about that and I said, oh my God, yes, I do watch the show for the dragon queen and the evil queen. Not that the rest are okay, but... If those two were just in the show, I would watch it anyway. What is our fascination? And how about Miss Linda? Uh, you know, who knew this? I've known her since 1973. Who knew this? You go into her house and there are these glass dragons and these. Uh, what is it <laughs> about that? What would you say? OK, let's talk about Linda if we could before we go to the phones. What would you say about folks like us that are so, how should I say, connected can you well, talk about that? Dragons, um, for many people, represent um, their um, fears. Yeah. Like, you know, when they, when they talk about slaying a dragon? Mm -hmm. Well, to me, slaying a dragon just means really being, allowing yourself to step into this place Mm -hmm. Where you, you know, I talk about this with my energetic work all the time to go to this neutral place so that you mm -hmm. don't react to the same old emotions mm -hmm. and the same old psychological fears and all that. But you stop yourself, you center yourself, and then you just um, ask, why am I weak to this? And the answer will come to you if you go inward. And so some of the greatest fears we have are, I guess, would be like scary dragons. Mm -hmm. Um, and if we face those dragons, then we don't have the fear anymore and we can move forward in a neutral way. Wow. And, and so these cards are designed and I, I've, I've worked on this a long time and I know <laughs> this will sound a little on the edge for a lot of people. But um, I started noticing that when I when people book sessions with me that um, they I would ask them to please send something that's bothering them. And, you know, what they want me to work on. And then when I, you know, maybe two days, three days later, a week later, whenever the session is, they will say to me, um, I, that, you know, when I phone, when we get in touch with each other, they'll be like, I, I don't have that problem anymore. I want to work on something else. And so energetically, like you have to understand in the vector, which is just, you know, um, direction and, and um, magnitude, basically like um, travel, right? Traveling in yeah. a certain direction. Yeah. That when we're in, we're, we're, we're in the vector, um, things happen to us and we might think it's one thing or we might think it's another. It might be a health problem, but it's actually a financial problem. And so what happens is when people think and think and think about their problems, if they stop thinking about it and ask the question and feel, they'll get the answer. And so I found that um, my energy is very much geared that way. And so when people get in touch with me, they start automatically um, sort of going into this place because 
of all the years that I've been doing this is what I'm getting. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm, you know, you have to identify the problem and then you feel for the answer. Mm -hmm. And so my, um, when I started doing this, I started noticing if I put an ad out that some people would connect, like I, I put my ads out with the intention that people, when they looked at the ad or they come to my website, that they're going to feel better, <laughs> you know, um, that whatever their weakness is that they can get calm. Yeah. And, yeah. And so the, you know, the things that really bother us tend to stand out and we'll see this in relationships. Like, you know, sometimes you'll meet someone and you'll say, oh, I just can't stand that about them. But what you can't stand really is they're reflecting back to you what's bothering you <laughs> about right. yourself generally, you know. And so all of this energy work is like, um, you know, we have to deal with time on the third dimension, but we don't necessarily, there, there isn't time in a linear fashion on a universal level, you know. And so what we, you know, wh what's happening for a lot of people is when they're just telling me they, um, you know, I, I put all this intention into my book, The Truth is Funny, Shift Happens. Yeah. Um, I, my intention writing that book, um, you know, it took me about 10 years to write it and two and a half years really writing it, you know, uh, yes. you, sometimes you have to get a grip on it. And that, and my intention was that it would automatically shift people. Oh my gosh. Well, first of all, the book Truth is Funny is, uh, well, I mean, let's just talk about it for a minute uh, mm -hmm. and we'll talk about it more uh, uh, later. But it is literally, my sense is, it is the many, many, many things that not only you've learned, but you've helped people clear. Right. Uh, now, the dragons, um, I want to just tell everybody on the show today, uh, Colette is going to be doing readings. And I don't know what, how this is going to look because I don't think we've ever done this before. No. <laughs> uh, but it's going to be of these fabulous cards. Um, each yeah. of them has a very special, special message. And 1-800-930-2819, um, if you can get in the queue here, we'll be able to get you in. And not only will we do the reading for you, but you will get an explanation from the amazing Colette Marie Stefan about what it is and what it means and, and how things come together. But I would like uh, to skip the break. And then also you are uh, asking the first three listeners that email you during the show, right? Mm -hmm. Will receive an intuitively selected card set. Tell yeah. folks about that. I'm just going to skip the break because we got too much to talk about. Okay. So um, intuitively, the reason I brought my book up mm -hmm. is because my book has a lot of information. In it. <laughs> and, um, but the information from my dragons is also in my book. Mm -hmm. And so it's all kind of working together. And so when I, when, when I do a painting, um, the, a lot of times what will happen is people will be drawn to a specific card and they'll be shocked. Because they'll be going, that's just exactly like, you know, they'll, they'll pick, um, say, the card that uh, it's about um, sharks in the water. <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, and, and they're not necessarily um, animal sharks. They're um, human sharks. <laughs> and, um, you know, uh, and this card is very good for people who are going through uh, problems with legalities, et cetera, or divorce issues or, you know, having to deal with lawyers, um, different um, uh officials or whatever and they'll just be shocked because they'll just be automatically drawn to that card and so the cards work in many ways they can work um as you know they've got the energy imprinted into them yeah and then they also and they all and the the shifting is imprinted into them but they also when i look at them they can be used feng shui wise so that you can place them around your home and in, in specific areas or uh, to remind you, oh, yeah, I don't want to go there anymore. <laughs> I don't want to react to this in a negative way. I want to center myself and mm -hmm. be able to move forward. And the cards I find for me, um, because, I, you know, I just brought them out in April, uh, the 25 oh. that I have so far. So I, oh. I only just brought them out. So the people that um, have been using them up, up to this point or some of them are getting back to me and they're giving me feedback and they're saying, wow, 
they can really feel it. <laughs> oh, no kidding. I mean, I, I'm really here to tell you that absolutely can feel it. Um, I wanted to share this story and, uh, and, and then we'll go to Melissa, who's on the phone. Um, but I want to share this story. I called you and I said, hey, um, I'd like to get one of the cards. And I said, uh, I'm really drawn to this one card. And if you go to, I want to just tell everybody to go to the website, uh, if you would, for a minute, go to the website, Tales, T-A-I-L-S, from the vector, V-E-C-T-O-R.com. Just go take a look at what I'm talking about. And first of all, it's a beautiful website, but the cards themselves, the cells are striking. And if you go to the site, I mean, you'll be able to see what the card, some of the cards are, what they mean. And I remember going to the site and there was one in particular that I was <laughs> struck by. And now I can't even remember how I, I got to that card. I do. But I, I, know I know the card. Okay. Tell, I, tell everybody. Yeah. Tell, okay, um, it, go ahead. The card that you were drawn to is called the Manifester. Yeah. And she's one of the um, seven sisters from the Pleiadians. Um, you know, if you if you know the story about the Pleiades, some people may know um, it's it's like uh, uh, a lot of uh, First Nation uh, indigenous people um, talk about this, you know, the, the seven Pleiadian sisters and they can, like, and so right now at this point. Um, this, this is, uh, these, these cards are about the chakras and this manifestor card is the sacral chakra. That's where we, that's where we create from. But this card is to take that manifestation, bring it into the third dimensional plane and be able to be very successful in manifesting what you, what your what is required for your purpose, for your journey in life. And that's the card you chose. Okay. Now, I didn't know anything about the card. I didn't, uh, what should I say? I didn't flip it over and read about it. Uh, I, you know what I'm saying? I didn't mm -hmm. do any of that. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think that I'm an anomaly, meaning I think people that come to your site look at a card and say, oh, I've got to have that one. Mm -hmm. uh, and these are large cards, so they're beautiful when you all receive them. Um what do you think that's about? I mean, I just was transfixed. This is her. the work. This is the work that I have been doing for the last 10 years is this mm. energy work. And um, this is the energy that I, um, I'm, we, I, I tell people this. When I'm shifting energy, I am not doing it for you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, I am simply clearing blocks that allow you to um, move forward in a stronger way because that, that it's like um, erasing something that's, you know, in your way that you, you know, if you try to think about it and find the reason why someone would have a problem, yeah. then the more you think about it, you need to actually feel for the answer. And that, that see, this sacral dragon, this, this energy is from that chakra. And so a, a lot of people actually are attracted to that card. <laughs> it's about <laughs> prosperity. It's about, um, you know, it's about abundance. And, you know, you and I also, um, we, we, you know, I did that Lyme show. With yes. You. Yeah, you did the Lyme show. Tell folks of the results of that. Yeah. And, and you know, just someone called into um, the radio show to say that ever since she listened to that show, she's hasn't had a problem. And she didn't, you know, she, she, um, she said it, she's not feeling sick. <laughs> oh. So her symptoms are gone is what, wow. you know, so um, this is wow. not, a, yeah, and, you know, and, and my, you know, my intention and Will's intention when we did that Lyme show was because we were, uh, it was actually, we were tuning into your energy. You kept popping up. <laughs> so, um, um, you know, you, you, uh, I was like, oh, what's this? And he said, I can't quit thinking about Pat and then Lyme disease. And I'm like, well, she does have a show about that, you know? Yeah. And he said, no, I didn't know. <laughs> no, I didn't know. And I said, oh, well, I guess we better get to work. <laughs> oh my gosh. You know? And so yeah, this, this, the energy, um, um, we all have the capability to shift and we all have the capability to go to ourselves, into our core and get the answers from ourselves for ourselves and for others. 
And the, the thing is, is that we have to be neutral. And I love these cards because they allow people, like if you're just picking a dragon card, then you're not judging yourself, you know? <laughs> Wow. You're not, you know, you're not questioning like, oh, what's this about or whatever. You're just drawn to that card. And um, the cards will pick, like, you will be drawn to the card that is going to benefit you the most at that moment. Oh, my gosh. Well, let's go to the phones because we got people wanting to talk to you. Okay. <laughs> Colette Marie Steppen is in the house, Mr. Benny. All right. Let's see. Who do we want to go to first, B? Uh, Melissa from Smoky Point. Hey, Melissa. Hi. Thank you for taking my Hi. call. Hi, Melissa. Hi. Happy Halloween. Yeah. Oh, to happy you. Halloween. Woo -woo. Yeah. Or should I say, <laughs> boo boo? Oh, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> what can I do for you? Um, I was just wondering if you could give me a, a quick read. Mm -hmm. Dragon card read. Okay, yeah. so what would you like? What would what is what is like? I like to get a goal from people. Okay. Yeah, or a question. Does that work? Yeah, okay. Question, whatever. Yeah. I guess um, it's in regards to self love. Mm -hmm. I've been really working on that, and you know, somehow the universe just kind of helps me out with that. And I'm thinking, you know, I, I think I don't really want your help like that. <laughs> so I've I okay, been um, trying to. <laughs> work on it without <laughs> having to have those hard knocks, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So the card that comes up right away as soon as you said, as soon as I even, that I, uh, I have a, a book of my cards here right now. And uh, I turn to, um, this is the one I turned to um, before you spoke. And it's devotion. It's the um, ninth card. And this dragon is about destiny, purpose, and life's work. Mm. Does that resonate with you? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. So what color is you it? know. Oh, what uh, the, color is it? Yeah, describe the card. Okay, the card is of um, actually a blue baby dragon and a baby angel that are holding each other um, in the womb, actually. Mm. And it's uh, actually uh, it, it it took me quite because the, the dragons will give me information, and I thought this can't be right, but it <laughs> this this dragon um, tells me that this is Archangel Mikael and um, this is uh, the energy of um, uh, of you know our life's purpose and uh, kind of a little bit the story of Jesus and, and Mary Magdalene mm -hmm. and you can read more about that on you know like on Tales from the Vector I, I tell the stories right there so you can look it up and see um, the this, this card is about um, centering yourself. Um, when you think about your life purpose, what come, like, how, how do you feel? Do you feel like you're following your life purpose right now? No. <laughs> I feel like I always have a need for, um, I know it sounds so crazy, but writing. Yeah. Well, you know. Oh, you know, there you go. Do you know what your purpose is? No, I don't know. So many people ask me this question and I, you know, this, this is one of the things like that this card explained to me because I, as I was painting it, I was working through it. And um, your purpose is to be the best version of yourself. Mm. Your, your purpose is to be an individual. This is directly I'm getting for you to tell you this. Um, your purpose is to be an individual, that you have a special gift that you came on this earth at this time to share. And that, what is it? Um, <laughs> being the best version of yourself, being oh, you, okay, mm -hmm. being you. And so if that journey of being you and you can't really figure out who you are yet, <laughs> yeah, this is actually coming up that you are, you are here to experience life. And so mm -hmm. this is about you. I'm getting that what you're doing is you're judging whether things are good or bad, positive or negative. And uh, there's some false gratitude coming up here. Um, like having to always be grateful for things that you're not really grateful for is coming up. So we're just going to strengthen you to that, that, you know, you don't have to be grateful, but you can be if you choose to. And um, every experience that we have, if we don't judge it, then it's not a mistake. It's not um, something we did right or wrong. It's just that we're experiencing life, which is what we came here to do. 
and all of us have um, our, our every thought that we have. Uh, once we have that thought, everybody in the universe has access to it. Yeah. So your unique thoughts are, um, um, we just strengthen you that you don't get triggered by them is what's coming up. Yeah. Wow. We, yeah. And, and that you could just sit in this place where you recognize, hey, you are in the right place at the right time doing the right thing. Now, you may not get the results you want while you're doing that. <laughs> 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 but that's right. because you, yeah, you're, you're um, what I call your self, uh, your authentic self triad. That's your body, your soul, and your spirit. When it's in balance, then things flow. And, and that would be the first dragon. Um, if, um, that's, um, that's the next card that would be coming up for you. And that would be Ange. And she is actually about grounding spiritual growth and the environment that you're in. And so do you get outside much? Uh, sometimes. Get outside more. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm getting you need to ground yourself. You know, Ange, she told me when she was the very first dragon that she's the crystal queen, that um, she laid all the eggs on the earth that turned into the crystal veins. And so crystals, um, you know, I've, I, I have my master's in crystallogy. Um, I studied crystals a lot. And so all the dragon paintings... All, all the paintings have this energy of the crystals infused in them. And Ange, I think she has something like 85 crystals on her. Wow. Um, you know, each of them that I went through, I have them all, like I know exactly which crystal is on her. I couldn't list them all to you exactly right now. Yeah. But the, the qualities of that. And uh, so I'm just getting like, if you think about it, crystals come from the earth. And so what I'm getting is that um, it would you you would be it would benefit you greatly to ground yourself by being in mm -hmm. nature a little bit more mm -hmm. and allowing yourself to see the beauty of everything around you just on an everyday basis. Like we, right. we sometimes forget to how fascinating it is, just like when you look at a tree and the leaves on a tree. And so we just want to strengthen that for you, that you start to, you, it, like if you ground yourself, a really good place if you're happy, you know, if you're somewhere warm mm -hmm. and you can walk on the beach barefoot in the sand, in the water. Yeah. Wow. That feel, that's, I, I made sure that this summer I made it to the beach, you know, at least every second day to do that. Yeah. Because yeah. Uh, walking in the sand, you know, um, being in the trees, allowing yourself to notice how beautiful the birds are, you know these things ground us and these are gifts from God. I call it, you know, mm -hmm. if people want to call it source, whatever um, I've always kind of referred to that as God, but we could call that source or, you know, um, divine energy, whatever you, whatever works for you. Okay. So this is a direct thing telling me that um, it would be, ben it would benefit you if you got out into nature mm -hmm. more, have crystals at all. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, one of the things I want to say about that to you as well is uh, while nature is extremely grounding, what I have found in my experience with it, it's also expansive, expansive in a way that it's hard to even quantify. And, you know, part of what I think I hear you saying, especially with the energy of crystals, uh, Colette, is that, you know, once you decide to make that connection to nature, that what happens is an expansive energy. And what I've discovered about that when I do that is I can't, I can't lie to myself anymore. See, the truth of me shows up. Mm -hmm. And that's been my experience of this, especially uh, in the career that I have. It's so easy for me to say to myself, gee, Pat, you know, um, yeah, go get that real job that everybody around you thinks you should get. But when I step into nature, nature tells me, you know what, you're exactly where you're supposed to be. And then I ask what else is possible. So you're getting to not only be grounded, you're also getting to explore whatever it is that you're afraid of when you're outside of nature and when fear is allowed to come in. Hey, we're going to take a short break. Thank you for calling in. And uh, as we said, if you can, what's the email, uh, Colette, that folks um, if, can email you? If they um, just get in touch with me at info at the truth is funny 
Um, that would be the, um, the, the best way right now because I um, will we'll see that for sure. Awesome. <laughs> I get a lot of emails. And, okay. then, and I'll explain when we come back from the break um, how, you know, how this will work. Yeah, and we've got another caller too. So let's cool. take a short break, everybody. We'll be right back. My monster from his slab began to rise, and suddenly, to my surprise, he did the, mess. He did the monster man. Hi, this is Leslie Fontaine. Have you ever tried to just shift your present moment experience? Do it now. Just move your energy in a direction and watch what happens. Often we panic at the blocks that come up and we just stop. But today, try not to do that. Continue from your heart or solar plexus to shift in that new direction, whether it's in the middle of an argument, in the middle of some depression you're feeling, or some discouragement. What happens for you as you do that? The opportunities are amazing. Just hold that space. If you're ready to shift into your best life, visit me at lesliefontaine.com. And let's talk about unfolding all that you want to be, do, and have. You'll find sessions, classes, audio products, all to help remove the blocks and move you into your potential. And listen to my show, Sheer Alchemy, on Transformation Talk Radio, Wednesdays at 10 Pacific and 1 Eastern. Francine Vale is a being of light. She believes that all people of planet Earth are as well. As co-host of the Angel Healer Radio Show... Francine teaches you heart-centered ways to manifest healing on your own behalf and how to integrate love more fully into your daily life. Connect with your angels as you find your life flowing with ease and harmony. Walk the path of light with Francine and Dr. Pat Basili every month on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Dr. Brie Gibbs is a fourth-generation high priestess with the knowledge to raise your vibration in conscious creation. Offering a wide variety of services from goddess light and shamanic healing seminars to private reading sessions, Brie works with you so you too can stand in your own power. Isn't it about time you took your life into your own hands? For more information about Brie's services and products, visit silvergaia.net. That's silver, G-A-I-A dot net. Sky Siegel co-hosts one of today's most popular psychic shows, Angels and Answers, with Artie Hoffman as she communicates healing messages from the spirit world. These messages can be astounding, enlightening, and life-changing. Born with the God-given talent of inner guidance and the amazing ability to heal, Sky has healed thousands of people. Schedule a reading with Sky now. Call 908-500-1474 and visit skyofangels.com. Have you ever wanted to learn about the colors of your chakras? Well, now's your chance. Lynn Brown, host of Get Into It, is hosting an event Friday, November 4th from 7 to 8.30 p.m. in Mount Vernon. Every person will get a reading on the most prominent color in their aura. Join Lynn Brown November 4th at the Riverwalk Studio in Mount Vernon. To register for this event, call 360-588-4713. That's 360-588-4713. It was a graveyard smash. He did the match. It caught on in a flash. He did the match. He did the monster match. From my laboratory in the castle east to the master bedroom where the vampires feast. The ghouls all came from their humble abode to get a jolt from my electrode. They did the match. They did the monster match. They did the match. They did the monster mash. Oopsie. <laughs> hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Dr. Patro. Uh, oh, man. First of all, if you have never tuned in to the Truth is Funny radio with my super guest today, Colette Marie Stephan, please go do that. Um, if you go to uh, – let, let, okay, let's stop and give out information for a moment about The Truth is Funny, about the website, about the book. and let, Let's just stop and do that before we go to the phones. Sure. Okay, so thetruthisfunny.com. 
Mm -hmm. um, is basically my radio show and yeah. the book, etc. And the dragons, Tales from the Vector, T-A-I-L-S, from the Vector. The Vector just really is the direction you're taking. And so um, you can reach me at that email also. It's just that I just brought these dragons out in April. <laughs> mm -hmm. And uh, at the end of April. And so with all my other commitments, it's like the, these dragons um, have a lot of energy behind them. And so uh, I've been, you know, just been in this place where I just want to paint and paint and paint. And I yeah. haven't been here for a very long time. Um, for three years, I, I was like looking at one dragon and it just so happened that was the solar plexus dragon. Mm. And the solar plexus is where a lot of people kind of get caught um, with their um, childhood issues and stuff. Mm -hmm. their subconscious mind and that painting took three years to manifest and but this heart dragon she's just you know it's been like three weeks and so uh, when I went to Peru I uh, in January uh, I was in Peru and I did ceremony with shamans in the jungle and then I went to Machu Picchu and when I came home I started like just drawing and drawing and drawing I couldn't stop it was like uh, and I'm drawing my visions and I'm, I'm getting all this information to add to the information I already have to say it in another way. And my dragons tell me not, you know, it's got to be funny. <laughs> or, or they're, they don't, they're not interested if it's going to make people feel fear or bad or whatever. No, no, so, no. Um, what happened is I started, I realized because when these dragons first came to me, I thought, what? You want me to paint 64? I hope they're small. <laughs> and they're not. Uh, they're not. <laughs> and then I realized, oh, the major arcana are the dragons and the visions that I received when I was in ceremony. Mm -hmm. um, are actually what I call the directional cards. So the dragon cards are all on a hor on a vertical, mm -hmm. and the the um, other cards are more directional, like on a on a horizontal. And so those cards, like if you're drawn to a, a card that's horizontal, right away it's basically telling you it's time to ch ch look at what you're what direction you're taking, and check and make sure that you're strong to it. <laughs> I got it. And, mm -hmm. you know, let, I'll tell you what, this is really hot. For those of you out there, I know you're trying to call in. Yes, we do have, I believe, phone line open right now, 1-800-930-2819. But we're going to go right to the phones, Mr. Benny. Who do we have? Carol from Manchester, Washington. Hello, Carol. Carol, Hi. how hey, are Pat, you? Do some, do some more singing, Pat. Oh, no, girl, <laughs> did you actually hear that thing? Oh, my <laughs> gosh. Oh, no. no and good. and and you didn't hang up. No, no, I didn't hang up. No, I wanted to hear more. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, hi, yeah. hi, Colette. Hi there. Hi, Carol. Hi. Happy Good Halloween. Oh, mm -hmm. yes. Thank you. Happy Halloween to you guys, all of you. Thank you. How can we help you today? Because we're ready. Okay, I'm ready. Um, okay. Uh, three months ago, I, um, I left my job of 17 years. Mm -hmm. And I am in the process now of, at least in my mind, or energetically, um, wanting to start my own little business, mm -hmm. which I've wanted to do off and on for years, but it just didn't happen. Uh, but now's the right time, I believe. So mm -hmm. can you give me any uh, insight in this? Yeah, I'm going to jump in and give you insight before she jumps in. So what you really want to do is you want to open the most amazing business that represents your passion that represents abundance that's going to change the world in a better way and at the same time give you an amazing bank account by which people are rushing to show up for you every day and <laughs> say we want to work with you carol yeah I so we don't want a little we don't want a little business right oh Little right, business right, right. was me selling hot dogs on the streets. Well, that was a big business, but you get my point. All right, <laughs> Colette, help her out here. Yeah, <laughs> right away, Pat, you're going to laugh. But it's the card that came up. It's like I have some cards in my deck that are dragonflies. Oh. And dragonflies um, embody a lot of um, beautiful energy. It's kind of like, you know, dragonflies are like helicopters. They can go, but way faster. <laughs> 
like they they are um, very quick to be able to make changes and to notice them, and they reflect light back to us. Um, it, you know, you notice how um, dragonflies are so shiny. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so the the card that came up, uh, the card would be uh, Temple of the Soul, which is card number uh, twenty three in the deck, and that is the card of expression and uh, well being, happiness, intimacy. And this is about expressing yourself through the qualities of your soul. And what came up, um, do you mind me asking what age you are? 71. Okay, see, because your age was coming up, um, uh, you sound so much younger. <laughs> yeah, well, I feel younger too. Yeah, yeah no. me too. Me yeah, too. Yeah, absolutely. And so this is, uh, th this card's coming up and it's kind of about um, waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. And this 17, uh, years that you've been in this uh, was it the same job or was, like at the same place or was it just um, the same work it was the same job same place same work <laughs> mm -hmm. a lot of people have a, um, a, a weakness to the number 18 um, it's just it's got to do with the 369 um, 18 is divisible by 2 and it's divisible by 6 and by 3 <laughs> 369 okay. uh, Nikola Tesla says if you understand the power of 369 you'll understand the universe and so a lot of times people um, when uh, they're in something for 18 years or you know 18 months or whatever there will be a need to um, to look at that, and this that's what this card is saying. Um, this card is actually um, expression, but it's also called um, the my soul is home. Oh, and so you see, for your to to manifest on the third dimensional plane, what you really want to, what brings you passion, comes from your soul, and that's your heart, that's your will, and your desire to do what um, makes you sing. <laughs> Right, right. Yeah, and so this is um, just strengthening you to your age. Um, you know, people get sometimes upset because they, you know, some people are um, early bloomers mm -hmm. and some people are later bloomers. I'm a later bloomer. Yeah, all, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, and, and there's no judgment in that. You know, some people know what they want to do be from the day, second they're born. <laughs> and some yeah. of us you know, um, find out later in life. And so just strengthening you to that 100%, okay. you know, like so that you could um, do that. And so when I was saying that I would send a set of three cards to three people that email me at info at the truth is funny dot com, those three ones that I get, um, this is how I would do it. I just tune, I, I'm going to ask that person one question, what they want out of the session, and then I'm going to intuitively tune in and choose which cards. So now tell me something else about yourself that you would like to do. Well, I have um, been trying to formulate this um, as far as starting a cat sitting business. And um, <laughs> <clears throat> this is really what makes me happy and really is fulfilling for me to be yeah. having to do with cats. <laughs> this nice. Is well, you know, um, this is really making me giggle. <laughs> I just, I just told Pat that I, you know, I'm almost finished this heart chakra dragon. Now, this dragon is one of the Pleiadian sisters, but she has a lot of Hathor energy, and I happen to have a beautiful Cornish Rex cat named oh. um, Pearl, oh. and uh, she's, um, her name is actually Rexquisite's Pearl of Wisdom. <laughs> and <laughs> her name is spelled, her name is spelled P U R R L. Oh, that's funny. And um, you know, a cat's purr is like you know, um, it it's it helps people in so many ways. Like when a cat is with you and purrs, we yeah. we can feel that. The new dragon that I just painted um, is came directly when my little kitten Stella. I got I got my other cat a, a kitten. Because she seemed lonely, yeah. and um, Stella came through, and th this dragon is like Stella's energy. Stella, we were going to call her <laughs> Bella, but by three days after we got her, we were calling her Stella. <laughs> Stop that! Don't uh, you? Know? <laughs> She's everywhere. Cool. This kid, right? <laughs> and so um, this painting that I just did, which will be out in January, um, I uh, to add to the deck. 
um, she's got a, a cat right on her heart. Oh. And, and my little Stella, um, uh, my uh, partner Will was here and he was sitting and she crawled up on his shoulder and he took a picture right away because she made a, a beautiful little heart. <laughs> oh. and, and, and so um, this energy from the cats is very, um, cats, you'll notice, they'll go to um, sit on computers, other negative energy grids. Yes. You, you won't find a dog. Like a dog will not go and sit in these negative places. Dogs are very loyal. Wow, they, that's, that's interesting. Yeah, they don't actively go to sit on computers or in negative, uh, or in, in, it's actually positive ion zones in the house. And so cats will tell you where, you're, where the negative energy is in your home. They will also let you know if you were talking about ghosts, etc. if there's some um, uh, external forces coming at you that are kind of weakening your, your, your um, boundaries. Um, in your authentic self triad. So your desire to be around cats and to benefit cats. I mean, you know, where do you live? Um, here in Washington State. Yeah, like if you live by me, I'd get you to look after my cats any day because I can, I can feel how much you love them. Yeah. 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 And well, so I, yeah. Um, this is a, a yeah. very beneficial thing. This is something coming from your heart. And so we just strengthen mm -hmm. you to follow your heart, but take consistent steps of actions to get to your goals, which then comes up, like, as soon as I said that, um, it comes up the um, dragon that is um, the, from the survive, like the base chakra. And her name is, uh, like, she's, she's um, that card is called attitude. And so it's about um, healing fear, anxiety, and worries about survival. So that okay. you don't have to be in survival, like worried about like if you, you know, a lot of people really feel that if they follow their heart and do what they really love to do, yeah, that, that they're not going to be allowed to make money doing it. Oh, yeah. Right. We know about that. And now couple that with having a radio show for 13 years where you've had to pay every radio station that you've been on thousands of dollars. Can you mm -hmm. imagine what the people around you say to you uh, when, when you're in that place where you know it's absolutely your life and your direction and your friends, they want to commit you? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> when, when we were in ceremony in Peru, um, um, uh, I like sometimes I think, oh, you know, like, am I insane? And um, uh, when and Will, like Will said to me. If you say insane really slow, it's a good thing. <laughs> so, you know, if, if you are in sanity, that's good. <laughs> so um, there's a lot of, and, you know, it is Halloween and this energy is coming in around Halloween because this is witch territory, right? Yeah. yeah. And uh, a lot of us, you know, um, in the past, if we were to share information in the way that Pat is and the way I am on my radio show and the way we are right now, <laughs> we would be considered witches. Yeah, uh, oh, definitely. Yeah, and there's no yeah, question and, about know, that. Some bad, some bad things happen to witches. <laughs> so let's just, you know, shift that for everybody, you know? Um, witches yeah, let's are, do you know, that. Yeah, this is, it's not about evil energy or anything like that. There is no evil information. Information mm -hmm. is just that, information. And what, what people do with it, though, <laughs> you know, that can be different, but yeah. you know, we, we as human beings, like if you if you think about human beings, we operate on many existences, right. time, space, dimensions. We are um, we are picking up so many thoughts every second. I, I, um, Karen Campbell Benton was on my show and was speaking about this. That I, and I don't want to quote this, but in any given moment, our subconscious mind will bring in something like I don't know. It was like twenty thousand thoughts. Whereas our, you know, and our conscious mind can only handle a certain amount of them. And so these subconscious thoughts are actually coming from um, uh, how we were reared, um, our cultural influence, religious influences, you know, um, all of these things have an effect on us. And if you watch a lot of TV, you'll notice that there's a lot of fear on TV. Mm. And wow. so, yeah, and so, you know, um, we want to um, be, to be able to, a lot of people, feel that um, or think actually they don't feel they think that the opposite of love is fear yeah and I, 
very, very clearly in ceremony that the opposite of love is lack of respect. Wow. And I get that. I get that Mm -hmm. because uh, I studied uh, consequences of broken promises for eight years when I went back to school. And for some strange reason, one of the questions that I asked is, what do you think your company or others, your company, and then there was another one about your supervisor, what do you think they're obligated to provide you? Out of all the options that people had in filling out obligated to provide me, like pension, health care, blah, 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 do you know what the, the number one answer was by 98%? Respect. <laughs> There you go. Respect. And, respect, and we forget respect that. Comes from your, respect for yourself, first and foremost. Exactly. Wow. Well, thank you for calling into the show. Thank you so much. And please go over to Colette's website, Tales from the Vector, T A I L S, from the Vector.com. Uh, okay. Thank you so much for calling in. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, you know, Colette, I mean, I would like to talk about the cards for a minute and, you know, how people that go to the site. Uh, might be drawn to them because um, folks can purchase an individual card or they can purchase more than that. What are, what are you finding people doing? Are they like me where they find a card and you don't even know what it is and you're like, okay, I got to buy that. Or are people doing other things? I'd love for you to share that. Okay. So what's, what's happening is both. Okay. It's more cost efficient to um, purchase like at least eight just because of the the cost of shipping you know because it's yeah, yeah, a, yeah. Yeah, it's so hard to do that yeah. but you know if you were um, I've had several people you know ordering just one card because that's the okay. one they're drawn to and I've had a lot of people because I have a special deal there for the 25 cards that you can get yeah. them at a reduced you know, I think it's $50 less for the entire 25 so a lot mm-hmm. some people do that now um Eventually, this entire deck will be done, and I'm getting quite, you know, it's I'm, I'm being told, and uh, you know, and you want to talk about crazy, stay home and paint dragons. <laughs> and so, you know, right now what I'm doing is I'm doing a lot of sessions, and or you know, that's where I'm gearing it, sessions, and uh, so that I can be home painting dragons. I'm in a very, very creative space. When I'm in a very creative space, I correct energy at a very, very fast rate. Wow. And um, I feel that at this time, uh, a lot of energy was coming in. A lot of what I saw in ceremony, one of the things I saw was the buffaloes coming over the hill um, that came over at Standing Rock. And my wow. my dragon um, that I drew, I think, well, this one I painted, she was the very the fourth dragon I ever did. And this is, um, it's number five in the deck because... Um, uh, the, the numbers are a little bit, because there's some cards not there yet, the numbers are not in um, order on the website. So people just understand that, that I'm, as I'm getting these other dragons come to me and these other cards come to me, I'm adding them in their place in the deck. And I've been told, do this one, this one, this one. And what came up is safe travels. And this is the fifth card. And this is about travel, being a truth seeker and checking your ego. And in this painting, I love it. There's a totem pole, but it has the three monkeys. Hear no um, ego, see no ego, and <laughs> speak no ego. <laughs> wow. Uh, and uh, this, is, this painting has, uh, is about um, the, the energy coming in from uh, the Sioux, from the Sioux wow. Nation. And wow. so, it's powerful. This is powerful. Yeah, it's really it's, powerful energy, isn't it? Yeah, it's it's kind of like um, I um, I'm getting that what it is is that um, I want to find another fun way to share this information. Yeah. So my book is kind of challenging to read at times for a lot of people because I didn't write the book to be a um, like a normal book. Mm-hmm. I wrote it so that if someone flipped it open, they would come to a page. It would be that these like the same as the cards. That if you don't have time to read the whole thing, flip it open and it'll tell you <laughs> what your <laughs> what your weakness is in that moment. And that's as you the way I it, use it. Yeah, me too. <laughs> oh, Because <laughs> it's easier. <laughs> and but these dragon cards are kind of like an even more fun way. Mm-hmm. And one of the most popular cards is the um, the second card I drew, and that card is uh, this painting is of a beautiful red dragon from Russia. 
Oh, and this dragon is called sexuality. And it seems that, <laughs> um, you know, if you put him in, if you put him um, in your uh, underwear drawer <laughs> with intention, <laughs> a lot of women are like, it, it, it makes me laugh because um, almost nine, like when I, if I go to an event and I have these cards and the paintings, women are drawn to that card like uh, uh like oh. <laughs> well let's hey let's do a whole show on this topic wow colette thank you so much for today one we got about a minute left what's your personal message thank you so much for all that you do thank you pat my personal message right now today for people mm -hmm. would be be aware because halloween is um a, a different day than what it's made up to be in many ways. And so there's some um, energy around Halloween that um, weakens people. And so we just want to strengthen everybody to having fun on Halloween and enjoying it and not um, going into this place. We've got a lot happening on the planet. No fear. Yeah, no fear. I Scary love it. Scary costumes, but no fear. <laughs> I love it. The truth is funny. Colette Marie Stephan, I'm Dr. Pat. Hey, thank you all for being amazing the way that you are. We'll see you next time. Happy Halloween. The preceding audio was via a Skype call.